Okay, let's do a little, oh, how about a little extra energy warm up since everybody's got cold weather today, it's cold and sugar. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones toward the floor, hips open, shoulders back and down, arms relaxed, get that core activated, and we'll reach your head up toward the ceiling. And then this is the three part inhalation and then the emphatic exhalation. We're gonna bring the arms out to the side, then to the front, and then exhale in. So up, forgot the front. Up to the front, out to the side, all the way high, and then bend your knees, exhale, and say ha. So front, sides, up, ha. 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 One more. Ha. And then back into mountain pose. Just feel more circulation warming you up. Take a moment to breathe. That was called breath of joy. So just imagine how joyful you are as we energize today. So once again, we'll do the same thing to stay in that circulation really good. So in, out, high, ha. Up, out, high, ha. Up, out, high, ha. Two, four. One more. And again, mountain pose. And once more, just notice how the energy is flowing, where you're noticing it, where you're not noticing it, maybe. And breathe. And then lengthen through your spine, up through the crown, shoulders relax. And let's just go side to side in a little twist. So remember, follow your hands with your gaze, just going from one end to the other. Keep reaching up through the top of your head, getting that twist energy flowing as well. Keep breathing with it, lengthening up, exhaling, just relaxing. And then back to the center and allow yourself to come back into mountain pose. And then inhale, your arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows a little back, chest open. Inhale to the front, shoulders down. Bring your hands behind you, clasp them just gently, and press the fingers toward the floor as you lift your heart, head back. Turn it over as you exhale. And into your forward position as deeply as you can. Hands up toward your head, head down toward your legs. Move your head around, get that neck released a little bit more. Knees bent, ribs up, sitting bones down. Keep that chin in as you wind to the top. And again, lift your heart. So a little upper body back bend, spread your toes, shoulders down. And then on an inhalation, come up, release your arms, feel the circulation. And we'll do that again. Reach out at shoulder level, fingertips wide. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front, but keep your shoulders down. And then clasp your hands the opposite way behind, so other finger outside. And again, stretch into the back bend, lifting your heart. Pivot over, exhaling, and deepen as much as you can. Spread your toes, lift your hands, move your head. And then again, wind from the bottom of your spine all the way to the top. And again, heart high, shoulders down, head back, coming into your back bend. Take a moment and breathe. And then inhale up, exhale, and release your arms. Step your feet together. Bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond, and some circles. So getting those ankles moving, toes moving, as well as your knees and hips. 
And just notice the lower back, maybe getting a little bit circling energy as well. And then stop and circle the knees the other way. Just keep breathing. Wide or not, make sure those knees don't go beyond your toes. You don't want to overwork your knees. And then stop, come back to the middle, find that spot out in the front, and we'll lift your heels. See if you can balance there on the base of your toes. Spread the toes out, gives you more basic support. And then drop your heels and lift your toes and go back and forth a few times for base perches. So get those arches, toes, and heels, ankles moving. And then coming back up and into mountain pose. So take a moment there, just getting everything realigned and balanced over your feet evenly. And then let's clasp our forearms or prayer position. So bring those fingertips up between your shoulder blades. Heels of the palms toward each other, maybe even touching if you want to work your shoulders a little bit more. And then bend your knees towards your toes and circle your hips. Nice big circles. Just getting that whole lower body releasing. And then stop and go the other way. Just as much or as little as you need to do. And then release back into mountain pose. Take a moment feeling what's going on. And then plant your balance foot. So whichever one you like to do best, remember it's always good to start with the easier one so you can educate the other challenging one. Spread the toes. Get the base of the toes really connected. Remember, don't grip with the toes. That gives you less support on the bottom of the feet. Lift your arch. Get everything lined up. Second toe, ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder. So a little rolling at the top of the thigh for most people. Sink into that foot evenly. Activate your core. Make sure that ribs go towards your spine and up so your spine is nicely supported. Shoulders back and down. And then sink into that foot and bring the other one up. And again, roll in a little so you're not crossing the foot. Over. Stay low if that's challenging today. We'll bring it up toward your chest as much as you want. And then work your ankle again, circling both ways. And then flex some points, straighten things out, and bring that foot down. Shift to the other side, spread the toes, get those toes lined up with the ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder. And again, nice hips opening, shoulders opening, core activated, and sink into that foot so that the inside and outside of the heel and the front of your foot are evenly sinking down. And then when you're stable there, bring the other foot up. So remember, a little or more or up. You can pull it in as much as you like. And then again, work your ankle. And a few flexing points to straighten everything out as you could have done. And as you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment, feel what's going on as that sense of balance in both feet comes back. And then keep one arm down, the other arm out to the side, palm toward the ceiling, bring it over your shoulder and push the hands away. Get a good stretch going, spread your toes, and then lean over to the side, no twist, so that you get a good stretch through the ribs. And this side is contracting a little bit. Reach out, make sure you're not leaning forward. So look to the front or up toward your arm. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Get a really good stretch on that side. And then come back up and exhale that arm down. Feel the difference. So yeah, you need to balance the body. So other arm down, this arm out to the side, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push those hands away, lengthen it, and then lean, no twist, over to the side. 
Feel those ribs opening, the side contracting, and then slide this hand towards your knee or maybe the arm. And again, look forward or up to get that stretch maximizing. And then slide back up, exhale and release. Keep your shoulders down. Feel the sides a little bit more open. And lengthen through the back of your neck. Pivot at your hips, exhaling, come forward parallel to the floor. Bring your arms up to the sides, shoulder level, stretch everything long, and then just drop into red dog and pain. Take a moment, lift your sitting bones, move your head around, get that neck releasing. And then once more, just bend your knees, lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones, come on slowly out all the way up and into mountain pose. Feel your body, relax your shoulders, and bring your arms out to the sides, shoulder level, fingertips reaching out, palms toward the floor, and then turn the palms up and spread your fingers out, and make some circles. So big circles, just getting those shoulders releasing, and then make them smaller. And then straight out to the sides, palms up, and then turn the palms down. Keep spreading those fingers, reaching your head up, sitting bones toward the floor, core activating, and circle backwards. So big circles to start with, let those shoulders release. And then smaller circles. And then stop. Reach out, and again, a little side stretch. So push to one side, keeping the hips right over the ankles. And then back to the center, push the other way. Hips over the ankles, just stretch it out. And back to the center. Turn your palms up, bring them overhead together. Swan dive forward, keep your back flat. And come parallel to the floor and stretch everything long. Elbows, knees, and back all straight. And then again, just drop into that dog and pin. Go in deeper if you like with your hands behind your legs. Get a good stretch on the back. And then arms to the front. And again, just roll your way back up. Shoulders up, back, and down. And mountain pose. Here and breathe. Bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch your fingertips out. Shoulders, shoulder blades down. Sitting bones toward the floor. Crown toward the ceiling. Stretch it all apart. And then keep the arms right where they are. And hips, ribs, and shoulders turn. Keep those arms right across from each other as you reach your twist, looking to the side. And then pivot forward, bringing that front knee down. And then pivot back up. Arms at shoulder level again, palms toward the floor. Turn back to the center. See if you're still at shoulder level. And stretch, keep those shoulders down, head high. And come twist all the way to the other side. And look to the side. Hips, ribs, and shoulder, everything turn, not just your neck. And then keeping the arms where they are. One goes up, one goes down, and just pivot into that forward position as far as you'd like to go. And then slowly coming back up. See if those arms are still across from each other. And turn back to the center. Stretch out, shoulders down, arms toward the ceiling. And again, bring your hands, palms together overhead. Into a little back bend, pull those thumbs back, keep looking at them, lift your heart. And again, swan dive, hands separate, shoulder level, pivot forward. Stretch out, pull all the way, everything straight. And again, down into that. This time, bring your hands up on your shins in front of your shins, right under your knees. Stretch everything again long in that halfway up stretch. Exhale, release into red dog. 
And again, from the bottom of the spine, arms just hanging, wind your way all the way up, shoulders back and away. Take a moment as you get back into your mountain pose. And again, you should be still, feet hip width apart, everything stacked for support. And we'll do another balance. So spread your toes on your balance foot, line everything up for activated crown toward the seat. And again, shoulders releasing. And then bring your heel into your arch with that knee going out toward the side as much as it wants to. Will be a little tree. So remember, trees can be a sapling, just a teeny little bit with the heel up and the toes barely touching. If that's good for you today, you can put your foot on your calf, not your knee, or the inside of your thigh. Again, not your knee. Find your balance and press the foot and the leg together evenly. If that's comfortable and you can release, bring your hands to your heart. You can stay there, or you can bring your hands up and reach toward the sun in the sky. And then bring your hands back to prayer. If you are up, turn your knee to the front, straighten it out, and bring it down, and back into that pose. Take a moment to breathe. Let all that balance stress out. And of course, yeah, we got to balance that and do the other side. So again, toes to the front, sitting bones down, hips open, everything lined up once again. Make sure that the knee and hip and shoulder line up with your ankle and your second toe on your balance foot. Sitting bones toward the floor for active shoulders relaxing down and turn the heel and the go the other way. So that knee should be going in the same direction as your toes, hips still open to the front as much as you can, shoulders also. And again, you're the tree, be the sapling if you want. Put the foot up a little bit. We'll bring it up to your thigh. And again, find your position, get as much balance into the base of your toes and heel as you can as you bring that foot up and stabilize. Once you're there and you're good, if you are, stay there if you're not working on it and find your place. Keep breathing. Oh, I'm not stable on this side today. So just keep going through the same set of directions to find your stability. Take a breath, exhale in tension. When you get there, Hands to your heart, stay there. Or if you're feeling stable, go ahead and raise your arms. Oh, I'm not quite there today. And then before you step down, wherever you are, make sure that knee comes to the front and your foot to the floor as you redirect into mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe. And just know that some days are more stable than others. Hands to your heart, looking at them. Inhale your hands up. Look at your thumbs, come into a back bend. Exhale, follow the hands. Again, to your heart, pivot at your hips. Exhale, on over. Take a moment and breathe. And then again, hands up on your shins, stretch and straighten halfway. Everything straight, get that core up. Exhale, back down, palms together, inhale. And again, to your heart. Oh, let's do another back bend up toward the ceiling and back. Hands behind you. And again, exhale, hands to your heart. And release. Again, step a little wide. Hips open, shoulders open. Arms out to the sides. Palms toward the ceiling. Hands right above your shoulders and clasp your elbows. Stretch your head and elbows up and out. Core activated. Stretch that spine apart and right twist. Exhaling to one side. Again, hips spread, shoulder and as you turn to the side. Lengthen up and then exhale in your twist, coming over to the back. Only as far as you want to go. Lift your sitting bones. Keep your arms near your ears. 
And don't forget to breathe. Just feel that twist forward position. And then staying in your twist, come on back up. And again, heart high, elbows back, shoulders down, a little upper body back, but remember while you're twisting, don't work that below that too much. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. And then twist to the other side. So again, lengthen, sitting bones down, crown high, and exhale, put your shoulders shoulder into your twist. Yeah, Again, breathe and lengthen, keep the shoulders down, exhale, and lengthen. Again, only as far toward that leg on that side as you like. Lift your sitting bones, drop your head toward your leg as much as it wants to go. Take a breath. Again, inhalation, come on up. Stay in your twist. And lift your heart, shoulders down, shoulder blades towards your waist, elbows down. Maximize or minimize, remember it's your back bend, your upper body, and what you need to do. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Arms up, shoulders down, turn the palms out, bring them to shoulder level. Pivot at your hip joint right at the top of your thigh. Chest and chin coming forward and then chin back toward your chest. Everything should be straight and you should be looking at the floor. Stretch it out. And then keeping your arms where they are, we're going to pivot into another twist. So the arms stay across from each other. Bring one arm down and the other one up as much as you like. Stretch the sitting bones and crown away from each other. And then pivot back, keeping those arms right where they are. They should be at shoulder level when you get back parallel to the floor. Stretch long for that twist going the other way and exhale into it. And again, the arm only as far as it wants to go. Both arms staying across from each other as much as possible. Stretch it out and exhale, pivot back, keeping those arms or reaching away. As you get back parallel to the floor, stretch everything. Keep stretching as you pivot back up at shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling, reach overhead and hands together. Exhale, follow them to your heart. Pivot on over and toward the floor. Hands up on your shins, stretch and straighten. Exhale down and wind your way up. Hands to your heart and step back into mountain pose. Take a moment, just feel your spine a little bit more energized. And again, let's bring the hands to the heart. Look at them as you come up, stretch toward the ceiling, swan down forward, chest and chin open, and all the way down into our transition to the floor, child's pose. Hips on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead down. Take a few moments and breathe. Just let everything stretch. Exhale, tension. And inhale and sit up and come into a cross leg position. So remember, sitting bones a little behind you. Creatures of habit, go ahead and switch your legs around. Now we're going to do a twist. So really stretch the spine apart, core active, and shoulders down. Bring one hand to the opposite knee, other arm out straight. Shoulders stay down, stretch the spine apart really well. Exhale, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything following around as you bring that hand behind you. Move it to the floor close to your body, stretch up, and then exhale and deepen. So remember, you can push into your knee a little bit with the hand on your knee if you love a twist, but you don't have to do that ever. You want to keep the spine stretching apart so it's got room to twist. Exhale, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning, not just your neck. Deepen into your twist only as far as you want to go. And then bring your hand back to shoulder level and follow it back around to the center, releasing, feeling that twist energy, just energizing 
up your spine, getting your meditative center activated or a relaxation. But first, you have to twist the other way. So switch your legs around, sitting bones behind, spine stretching apart, shoulders down, and the other hand to your knee, arm out at shoulder level. Stretch your spine again, up through the crown, exhale. Follow your hand as you move your hips, ribs, and shoulder, turn to the side. And close to you on the floor behind you, and stretch up. Exhale, deepen the twist as much or as little as you're willing to do today. So just maximize or minimize, remember personal practice. Do what's right for you. Keep pulling back with that shoulder. You can again move that hand deeper into the knee if you want a little more twist. Don't we'll go too far. It's just what your body needs, not me. And then bring again your hand up, follow it around to the center, and release. Take a moment and notice all that twist energy through your body. A moment to breathe and exhale. So options for our relaxation today. You can go into child's pose, because I know some of you like that, or you can come into our regular corpse position. So choose your position and go ahead and activate. Just roll down if you're going into corpse position. Easier for me to talk, so I'll do that. And let your hands be palms up, shoulders relaxing down, whichever position you're in. Take a moment just to get everything comfortable. Sitting bones toward your heels, heels toward your hips, depending on what your position is. Hands, palms up. Let those shoulders relax down. Just keep that heart nice and open, either across the back or the front, depending on your position. Take a few moments and breathe. Just allow your body to soften and sink. And move your jaw down. Releasing any tension in your face or your neck or your jaw or your throat. Soften your belly. Take some breaths. Exhale, tension. Just let everything release. Sink deep into that surface beneath you. Know that Mother Earth is supporting you as always. Just let your body go. Soft, supportive, relaxed. Just with each breath, go heavier and deeper into that earth embrace. Let everything release. As you breathe more deeply, sink more fully. Just allow awareness of your body to release from your attention. As that awareness releases, just let any thoughts coming into your mind flow right back out. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts, but it's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, there's no need to think of the past, no need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts float away, unneeded, unnoticed. As you breathe deeper and sink further into the earth's surface, let your mind be free as your breath, floating away without attention. Thoughts flowing in and out as easy as your breath flows in and out. Just let your awareness turn inward, find that peace within, relax into your Earth embrace, mind floating free, breathing peace, being peace.
if you can relax the longer today, keep relaxing whenever you have the opportunity. It's time to reactivate for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to your breath, to the breath. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body however feels right for you, just gently. When it's time to release, if you're in child's pose, just roll off, sit up and roll off. If you're in your corpse pose, sitting bones towards your heels, heels towards your hips, and pull in for that appreciative yoga hug. You're sitting up, just hug yourself there and let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. When you're ready to release, speak to the whole, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for your day ahead today. Thanks for joining me.